in the picture below shows the construction of the angle bisector of angle QPR. Go ahead and locate those letters on the diagram. QPR, all right? Okay, the bisector does what? Either the two equal parts, right? Let's go ahead and refer to those equal parts with a one and a two. This one and two are my equal parts. My bisector right here is PT. It's, it's dividing the QPR in two. These two smaller equal angles. Okay, which of the statements below is not true? I'm going to move all this right up there next to one half and this one here gets right there next to one half you'll see okay so this will be saying half of that angle basically all right so let's take a, take a look at this RPT RPT is representing I can ref, I can think of two I'm going to say two so RPT is my two that's that angle two it says that RPT is equal to half of QPR. Where's QPR? That's true, all right? So this checks out. Let's go over here and look at this one here. Uh, where is QPT? QPT is the one, okay? That That's half of that angle, right? These are my equal angles. So it must be half of QPR. Okay, it is. Checks out. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, measure of angle RPT. Let's look a look at RPT. That's this angle we numbered as two. Okay, and it says it's equal to QPR. QPRT. Nope, those can't equal. QPR is both of those added up. All right. QP had it said QPT then that would have been true this one here is my answer because we want not true all right this answer here is not true let's just double check the last one here real quick while we're here all right so RPT the angle RPT is equal to QPT let's take a look at that RPT is equal to QPT that's true all right 